Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. A user had a question how to add a opening to a project so that you could lock it when you close it and, of course, open it whenever you wanted to. Friends, it took me two times, but I've got a strategy. Let me show you how to build one. First, I'm going to take this little fella that's done. I'm going to move him off to the side, and then I'm going to show you where I found him. I just went to Creatures and Characters. You can click over here to get to Animals, hit More Shapes several times, and there is the cute little penguin. I do not know the size the user wanted to make with their part, but I'm going to just show you how I did this. So I'm going to shift stretch this guy and I'm going to go to 90 millimeters and press enter. Then I want to hollow out the inside. Well, check out this trick. I'm going to return to the basic shapes and I'm going to grab the tube and I'm going to use it to determine just how large this is. Now, I think if we click here, it's close to 70. So what I'm going to do is take my radius and I'm going to make it 30 and press enter. When I bring this close to my shape, let's see how close it is. We cannot align it that way because of the feet. But if we do L for align and align it this way and to the back edge, you can see that's reasonably close. I'm going to switch real quick to a 0.1 nudge and see what that looks if I nudge it over. I'm going to instead try 31 and press enter. Notice that is for sure larger. I can, though, line this up so that it's pretty even. So now those two sides look the same. So instead of 31, I'm going to try 30.5 and press enter. I think that's close enough for what I'm doing. All right, so now that we know 30.5 is the outside, we can hollow them out. Return to your basic shapes, grab your cylinder. A radius of 30 is 60, so we're going to shift stretch this and go to 58 and press enter. That'll give us inside so it won't poke out and then we'll line it up. I'm going to switch the color so this looks a little easier to see with this one instead of the whole shape because those feet and the nose and the beak all mess with centering on that other body. Now we want to put a piece on top to make our project too. We're going to simply use the half sphere, set it on top. Once again, we already know shift stretch 58 is the magic number. We can take those and align them. Two shapes, L for align, center, and center. We do need to make this one a hole. And then I can take those two shapes, and I'm going to do control G to make them a single group. So with that little part selected, shift select on our cool little tube, L for align. Tube is the boss. We can go center and we can go center, check it out, it fits. Now if we hit T for transparent, you can see that's reasonably close. I am gonna real quickly hide the penguin part though, and we're gonna raise this up so that we have a bottom in our project. So watch this, switch back to my one millimeter nudge, and I'm gonna do control up, one, two. That'll be how far it is raised up. So now I can double click this, and I want that to be one lower. So let's go 57. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do control down. So it lowers one click that pink shows we were editing. I can click somewhere else. And now when we do show all, you can see we have got this piece right here. My old idea where before I had that tube and you can see that hollows out our shape really well. Shut off transparency, select those two. Notice it says two shapes and do control G to group. Real quickly, let's drive inside just because this is kind of fun. Once I get through the skin, bingo, you can see it's hollow and there is that little shape. We could also go T for transparent and now you can see that it has got that hollow edge. Friends, let's make one more slick mod. This thing is great for centering, but it can be in the way for selecting. Watch this. If we take this and push it way, way, way down and then type negative 10, it is still available for centering, but we can lock it and that way it's not in the way when we're grabbing our items. So if I do show all, we've got this locked penguin in place and find the cone. This is going to be what saves our bacon. We want a base radius of 20. 
we want a top radius of 16 and press enter. Set your height to five and make your sides maximized. Turn that into a hole. See when this hole gets pushed in, the plug won't be able to fit through. Control D, move it over here for your plug, make it a solid, and then we're gonna change its measurements by one. So instead of 16, it'll be 15. Instead of 20, it'll be 19. Keep the five, keep the sides. Now we need more material. If we do T for transparent, because I wanted this to print fast, we've only got two millimeters. Check out the more material trick. Once again, control D. This time, we're gonna turn it into a solid and we're gonna add two to each. So 18 and 22. So we've got more material, the cutout and the plug. Notice the plug is gonna fit in there really nice when it's all done. Now for this to twist and lock, we need the rectangle. Of course, bring out a rectangle, change this measurement to four. We look at our shape here, you can see it is 40. So we're gonna make this 40. And then we can keep all that height. So we're just going to do shift select, L for line, this is the boss, group and group. Now we wanna make sure this cuts all the way through this. So we are gonna change that height to 5.1. With that done, Control G. And then we're going to shift select these two and the pink one. L for align with the pink one, the boss, middle and middle to get your parts in place. Now, when we select those shapes, notice there are three of them. I did not grab the pink one and we can group it that easily so we've got our little part that is gonna push up and then eventually lock. And with that done, I wanna go to the height of this and let's make it 5.2 just so we've got some clearance. And now that we've got that done, let's add the locking mechanism. This time I'm gonna just do it with a rectangle. 3.5 should poke it through. Let's see what it looks like if we type 36 for this distance and 2.5 for this. Once again, just less printing time. L for a line, and we want it to be center and center. Now we just need to add the easy way to spin it. Once again, bring out a cylinder hole. Let's shift stretch it, type the number 10. We're gonna make that three millimeters up. Do control D, and let's do shift nudge. So there's one, two shift nudges. Grab those two and group them. Of course, select them all, L for a line, purple's the boss, middle, and middle. Group that all, control G. If we look at it with the mirror tool, bingo, you can see we've got nice areas that we're gonna be able to twist. And if we flip it back, I'm gonna make it a funky color. And let's do a shift, select, L for a line, pink is the boss, middle, middle, and it is ready for 3D printing. Just like that, we have fixed our penguin bank and it's time to send it for 3D printing. And here we are, friends, just finished. Pops through, takes a little bit of force to get it out. That's pretty darn slick. So there you have it penguin bank with a mechanism for opening and closing it. So let me tell you why I chose this design. The arms slope up, the nose slope up, so it makes it really slick for 3D printing. You don't need supports, which makes it print a little faster. If we go back to all those custom shapes and creatures, once again, I'm gonna expand it, click on these and do the more shapes so we can see all of them. Say you wanted to make a bank out of the angler fish, A, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so already there it needs supports, here it would need supports. There's just all kinds of supports you would need to turn that into a bank. This little guy and the other projects would be much more tricky to hollow out. So if you're ever choosing one of these, make sure you choose wisely. If you've never 3D printed before, let me show you those steps. We're going to be able to print this all at once because we have the gaps there. Then you simply choose export, and we want to export the SDL. 
Notice I've only got the selected design. I, I will not be printing the cutaway version I made just to show you when you do save it as an STL. It may go automatically to your downloads. I have my system set to ask and I put them all in my 3D modeling folder and I hit save. Now if you ever want to show the world the project, there's a couple things I do. The first thing I do is set a cool background. I'm going to give it a custom blue. Let's find something I think is pretty nifty. I'm going to use that one right there and I'm going to shut off the grid. When I click out there, that is a much niftier image. The final step to show the world is simply return to our Tinkercad workspace, click on the little gear and choose the properties. Of course, give it a name you like. Mine will say tutorial coming soon. I also give you a quick link to the HLMT23 search tag. And then finally down below, other ways to reach me. Of course, add some tags. And if you ever add the tag HLMT23, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, when I see your project, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my projects, I want you to come up here, follow the video, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. Remember friends, once you do that, if you hop to the gallery, the first things you see are all the amazing staff picks. Of course, click on them and give them a reaction. These projects are awesome. Quite often you can click on them, hit view in 3D, and they'll actually load so you can see them from every angle. ZDP, that is insanely cool. You can even zoom in and see it from every angle. That's awesome. Of course, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find some of my projects. Remember, if you ever click on my projects, those reactions are always appreciated. If you click here, there is almost always a tutorial. And if you look down below, you'll likely find other projects that I'm highlighting. What I love to do, everybody, though, is to shut off those staff picks. Click on this button right here and check out all of the amazing creations that people are sharing. And of course, right here is the cute little penguin blank tutorial that just lets you know how many projects are coming up. This one is awesome. It is Minecraft bread. I'm going to give that an awesome. There are so many fantastic designs. I love to check them out. Of course, give that reaction. You just never know whose day you might be making. Finally, of course, when you do click on my designs, don't forget there likely will be a tutorial. Of course, reactions are epic. And if you want to see all my designs at once, you can simply click on that username and all of my projects will pop up. Instead of sorting by recent, you can also switch to sorted by reactions and see all of my most popular designs. Of course, friends, almost always a tutorial and those reactions are appreciated. One final shout out to the user that had the question. Thanks so much for asking. Love this project and I'm looking forward to using these skills on future designs. Friends, as I wrap up this tutorial, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you know, I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then down below, you will find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, below that, you will find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching.